Argentina. When it's Palo Santo, it must be. Palo oh, Santo, how are you? Okay, so. It's a mellow night. How are you? I think my mic is on the side. Hold on, guys. So fine. Hold on. Okay, much better. Oh. No, we were just fixing stuff. Okay. So anyhow, that's none of your business. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking to you like you were here. <laughs> yeah, we were fixing the, the the studio here. So how are you? This is when it's you. It hits you. Welcome. I feel like my camera moved or something. Yeah, we did move this. Okay, but anyhow, okay, it's not in frame. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we moved this. <laughs> it's okay. I just feel like I'm tilted, but again, you're here, so that's what's important. <laughs> um, this is gonna be when it's you, it hits you. It is a um, situational base read, so don't forget about your zodiac. We read through the energies because that's what tarot is, also, you know, it does not need the uh, your placement and stuff like that. Normally, for an astrologer, we would need to have everything before we even give you your your forecasts. Here, we already draw the cards and we see in divination how your life works. It's a series of video, so you can go to different um, different series. Um, there's a title, and then um, it, it would resonate. No. No, I'm just distracted. I'm not used to this framing. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what's going on. Oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. See, I am distracted. We need to start first with the... The shade. The shade. The shade. The shade. The shade. Yeah, this one. The shade. The shade. The shade. The shade. Okay. So let's see what's going on. It's the girl deck. I'm catching my breath. Yeah, it's me. Okay. My first oracle card. Let's see what's this. What it's saying here. Uh, let's see. You got a kite flies as far as high, as far as high as much as you let go. Love this. You have ability, possibilities, ideas, thoughts, and goals. Oh, okay. so I was uh, I was in the middle of the desert. Yeah, for real. That's the story here. And I was looking at the horizon and then, you know, the field. Well, it's not a field, it's a desert. So, um, and then I remember when I was a child, when I was a child, when I was a kid, uh, I used to fly a kite, okay? So the maid will make this kite. You know, I mean, back in, back home, you know, you know when uh, the maid will be, make this kite out of, we call it like a broom, okay? So you won't have it here right now. It's a little broom. We put it with the plastic together, okay, and then we put some knots around it, and then we fly the kite. So I remember that every time you tug the the kite, you have to tug it closer and then release. Tug it closer and then release, and it, it flies it high, higher and higher and higher. So this is how I, I see as our dreams, you know, it's like we're going to work hard for it, but at some point... We have to let go, you know, let it manifest on its own, let it arrive to you because it's like, you know, it's going to come back, you know, it's like it's going to even be higher the next time. But if you're just tugging it and tugging and tugging it, it will not have its room for growth. So this is how I'm seeing here with your dreams, your goals and your ideas, even with your relationship. Um, I feel like, you know, if you're you're pulling in someone too much, too tight, you know, of course, they can get suffocated and then they die. Okay, Not physically. But you know what I'm talking about. So sometimes um, letting go gives uh, uh, room for the person to grow. And chances are, this is what you need to do right now to let go. You got me. Okay. I'm still catching my breath. I don't know if I'm low blood, no blood. Who cares, right? <laughs> so here we go. From low blood to no blood. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on here now for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Got Ace of Swords. Ooh, hello, communication card. Who are we talking? Who are we message? Did we text someone? Or you want to talk to someone? Well, they say talk is cheap, right? Is it T-Mobile or Sprint? I don't know. I ain't any of those anyway. I forgot. I think I'm Verizon. <laughs> Not sponsored. Uh, Ace of Swords here shows that... Um, there can be a, a breakthrough with communication. This is vic victorious. It can be like, also, you just met someone. Uh -huh. So let's just say, you know, the energy right now between you and this person is there's communication. Or you want to have the talk. Okay, so that's what's going on there. I wonder what's this message about. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, we got an inserted card. <gasps> Ten of Pentacles. It was inserted here, guys. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Interesting. I guess it's about a long-term partnership. It can be about finances. Uh, there's someone that you're talking to that you want to have. Um, how do you say it? A serious relationship. The end goal here is a uh, uh, to spend, you know, you know, eternity, if I would call it. Ten of Pentacles. Um, together. Um, it is legacy. Uh, you see someone who is the ideal person for you. I feel like it's true. It starts with the Ten of Pentacles. This is not like you painted this thing, you know, um, around your head. This is the ideal person. But this is the person that you kind of match. Ten of Pentacles. And it was from this. You know, it wasn't an accident. I don't believe in accident. Mm hmm such as this here. This is this one is an accident. I just woke up like this. I woke up like this. Let's see here. We got a four of cups. Okay, so someone has been waiting for this communication the whole time. Um, this person was longing for this. Someone misses you. Okay, again, just don't know if my face is okay. Four of cups energy here shows that. Um, you held back, okay, because you want this person to reach out to you. But then, here they come. Dun, 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 dun. Not sure how long you held back, but definitely there's a message coming to you. <gasps> Can be from a water sign, good Cancerian. Loving message. Someone wants to take care of this situation right now. This is an unexpected, like the Four of Cups, I feel like they never expected a message anymore. I mean, they wanting it, but they didn't expect it right now. They didn't see it coming. Mm -mm. High Priestess, yeah. Because the person uh, has been in recluse. Someone that you care so much that you love has spoken to you, or you have spoken to them. Okay. So High Priestess has been keeping, both of you are keeping each other um, silent. You know, how to say this? Um, not like it's a Five of Pentacles ghosting. You guys just don't talk. There's no communication, no contact, basically. Mm -hmm. Ooh, spicy. Because there was a breakup. Ten of Swords. And that breakup is over. The world card. So the silence is finished here. What is over is the whole no contact. Someone initiated. That's the Ace of Swords. Interesting. This is very spicy. It can be a long distance relationship or connection that had run its course, but there's a communication between the two of you. Hold your horses. It's not a reconciliation, it's just a communication. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Underneath the Four of Cups, we got the Lovers. It's smelling like a reconciliation. The Sun card is a yes. I'm done. I'm over. <laughs> the Sun with Lovers. Someone's going to reach out to you. It's your soulmate. They want to be in the same page as you are. Call it what you want. I feel it's good. The Sun with the Lovers. It can be Gemini, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. It's not about Zodiac, but if you guys want me to call them out. Hmm. As if you guys don't know their drill over here. Mm -hmm. The Sun, the Lovers, and the Four of Cups. 
an unexpected return of the soulmate. Very spicy. Hmm. Let me see. Under the Queen of Cups is Five of Wands with the Ten of Cups. Someone here had struggle to come through because they think the other person has option. The other person has already chosen someone else. Is it true though? Mm -hmm. They have so much love for the other person. Don't worry, I'll bring you guys back. You got the Temperance and Eight of Wands. Yep, it is a reconciliation that has been held back for quite some time. Okay, from two people who are now basically going to meet each other halfway. Five of Wands to the Ten of Cups. This is the struggle of the other person because they think that the other person has already chosen someone. In reality, the other person is actually going through its transformation as the world card has just finished their karma. Something major has ended and something major is about to begin. It is the sun and the lovers right here. So that's happiness, it's joy and fulfillment. With the Ten of Pentacles here, I feel like it is going to be this time, it's going to be long term it's gonna be stable there was a time that you guys had to let go of each other but now here i feel like a lot of closure has happened because there's a lot of 10 those are all outcome you guys are about to embark on another page of uh, how to say this of journey between who you have separated with so this is someone who you were done with like there was done 10 of swords with a with the world card it was over but now it's being renewed. Someone manifested this high priestess with a temperance. And I feel like it's going to be positive. What? What are you looking at? It's not my life. It's your life. Mm -hmm. It's my hair though. <laughs> That's that one. Okay. So let me continue this reading for you guys. I like that it's mellow. Okay. I didn't get frustrated with any of the pages. So that's good. This is all about the tens. Okay, this is all about the sun card and the lovers. That's very positive. Um, we're going to see more positive energy about these two people who really feel so drawn and in love with each other. I'll see you guys again. Remember, when it's you, it hits you. Bye. Welcome to when it's Palo Santo, it must be. Palo Santo, how are you? Okay, so.